Within a bar, known only as Lost Dreams, there strung a bard upon his lute and softened the moods of all present. Children now filled the space where years before it was just the drunken stupor of the wildly inebriated. Laughter also filled the area, though that was nothing new, but it no longer had that hint of worry and dread that was being submerged in mead. The bard strung his lute once more. The place was old, but full of charm. It had a scent, the bar. Sometimes it was the scent of cinnamon during the colder months, other times it was that of polished wood. The children aptly complained about the stinking odour of foamy mead which had worked its way into the floorboards from all the times the golden liquid escaped from the rim of its tankards. With sticky feet and squeaky steps, the inn filled with life. There was another thing that was different from years before. Not just that the roads were secure and monsters were kept at bay, nor was it that previously perilous lands were safe to travel. More than anything else, it was the fact that magic had returned to the world. Anteria flourished like a blotch of paint upon canvas that blossomed into a full rosy bloom. Another string was hit at the lute. What would you like to hear next? The children smiled devilishly with restrained anticipation. It was absolutely no secret what they wanted to hear. Yet their arms sprung up and their hands fluttered as their faces filled with exasperated excitement. The bard chuckled. It was already obvious. The story about Samantia, one kid cried out and all others nodded in agreement. The bard ran his finely lithe and dexterous fingers over his curled dirt brown hair and sighed with exasperation. But he knew how it went. He knew the song and tale that brought most to the town of Haven and more precisely to the bar of lost dreams. He resigned himself to his fate and teased the children. That tale? Oh, but it's such an old story. Most don't even believe any of it. You don't want to listen to that, the bard playfully groused. Yes, we do, cried one child. How about this new one I have been working on? It is about goblins. No, we want to hear about Samantia, the kids chanted together. Even old timers joined in. The bard leaned forward and blew away a curled strand of hair that hung over his defeated expression. The children chanted the rhyme that all mothers taught so that the fear of a monster would instill good behaviour into their little ones. Samantia, Samantia, never forget his name. Samantia, Samantia, for he will judge your pain. Samantia, Samantia, your happiness is his bane. Samantia, Samantia, be good or another child he will gain. They all laughed cherubically, as if celebrating the defeat of a non-existent fear. So, you want to hear about Samantia? The children rose up in an elated uproar, only quieting down at a placating motion from the bard. Fine. He readied his lute and prepared his voice. Do you think Samantia strong? The children nodded. Do you think him wise? Again, another nod as they leaned in expectantly, each question punctuated with a strike of a chord. Do you think him a stoic legend? One child had to catch herself lest she planted her face to the ground. The bard restrained a loving smirk and allowed himself a scratch upon his bristling chin beard. Well, Samantia is none of those things and all of those things. Get ready to be disappointed, for this is not the kind of story you think it will be. It is one of average people, of unimpressive magic, of pain. It is the fantastically underwhelming epic, the children chimed in to finish the rest, of a dead wizard and an average bard.